Another great game by the Ravens. Lamar did his thing. Defense outstanding. Let's get to my thoughts. Let's go. What's good, everybody? It's your boy Raven C with another another win by the Ravens. 2-0 right now in the game. In the league right now, we're 2-0. Lamar Jackson started off with the offense. Lamar Jackson, 18 out of 24, with a 113.9 rating. Nobody can talk about this boy I ain't throwing that ball, because he is. Only one TD for this game right here. As I stated, 204 yards, zero interceptions. He got this thing rolling. Offensive line, very, 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 very messy. Very messy offensive line for that first half. Second half, still a little messy, but they starting to clear it up. Hopefully they can clear it up very, very fast. Cause Lamar did get sacked. Lamar did get sacked a couple of times. And I personally didn't like that. He got sacked a total of four times this game. That to me is too much. That is too much. But for his rushing, Lamar, he rushed the ball for only 54 yards. And it looked like they started trying to get him a little going, but they really want to concentrate on that passing to me and my thoughts. So Gus, Gus the bus. We ain't know Gio at the beginning of this week, in the middle, I'll say in the middle of this week, he did say, you never know who's gonna get the ball. And Gus carried the ball pretty much the whole entire game. Gus about 10 carries, 73 yards, 7.3 average. That dude is a beast. They, ain't, they don't call him the bus for nothing. Mark Ingram, nine carries, 55 yards. Then my boy JK. That last run he did at the end of the game, it was like a teaser, like a movie trailer. Like y'all gonna y'all gotta wait till Monday to see this again. Oh, I can't wait. But that boy only had two carries, 48 yards. That last run right there. That mug had me going crazy. If you can see in my highlight video. Mug had going crazy, but receiving Hollywood did not get enough any touchdowns this week. He's zero touchdowns for the season so far, but out of six targets, five receptions for 42 yards. Not bad. Miles Boykin, four receptions, 38 yards, five targets. Uh, to me, I still think we need some wide receiver help because we don't, they, they had that double coverage on on Hollywood, but the offensive line really didn't give Lamar like a lot of time. And Ronnie Stanley, respects to Ronnie Stanley. He has a hip, in, he's hurting from the hip and the ankle, and he stayed out there. He was a scary injury for a second, but they showed, they went to commercial, they showed him walk off, dude came right back. That dude is a soldier, he is. A, when they say play like a raven, he is a raven. Now, they ever do and they, they only gave him one target again, y'all. We want to see. They, I, I believe they know we want to see Devin Duvernay. But with that one target, he got another first down, 19 yards. Like, I believe they said next week, next week, the Chiefs. Devry Duvernay show. Him and Hollywood, Devry Duvernay show. That's what I believe in J.K. Dobbins. I believe they're saving him for that game because we know Lamar on Monday Night Football and Sunday Night Football, the dude is a beast. He be doing his thing. But total receiving yards throughout the whole entire Ravens wide receiver corp and tight end. 204 yards. Now, Mark Andrews really didn't. He they dope. They was on him too, like they was on um Hollywood. He only had 29 yards. I never seen out of three targets. I never seen him have that 
low of yards. But great, great, great game for us. The offense, we know we can be a lot better. To me, we still need that wide receiver on the other side to help out Hollywood because Boykin making the little strides, but it's, it's taking a while. It's taking a while. It is taking a while. But Patrick Queen, this dude, man, this dude led the team in tackles once again. Beastin, man, like, God, dog, that's a bad boy. Very fast. Very, very fast. And second in the tackles for the team was Marlon Humphrey. Marlon Humphrey was doing his, him, when Marlon Humphrey made that, when Marlon Humphrey punched that ball out in that first half, really the defense to me kept the momentum on our side. It looked like it was slipping away for a second, but to stay on the defense. When Marlon Humphrey punched that ball out, forced fumble, LJ Fork picked that thing up, dove for that touchdown. That was that was beautiful. Then Mar uh after Marlon Humphrey did that, it was like MP Juice Man was like, okay, I got some too. You know what I'm saying, homie? I got some too. Next thing you know, snatch interception. Like and that play reminds me of what he did last year when we was playing the Seahawks with that Russell Wilson. He just snatched it. He didn't get a pick six on this one, but he just come out of nowhere. You can tell they didn't see him. Man, we got the two best best corners in the game, man. Nobody can tell me nothing about that. Calais Campbell showed up. Calais Campbell got a sack. Deshaun Elliott got a sack. Towers Bowser got another sack. But Calais Campbell, he hit Deshaun Watson three times with that pressure. He's getting into his own. He said it last week. He didn't feel like he did good. This game is looking like it's starting to happen. It's starting to get, he's starting to get into that groove. But throughout the whole game, very good. Hopefully they can fix that offensive line. To me, defense really, really showed out this game because Deshaun Elliott, I said Deshaun Elliott, Deshaun Watson, he was scrambling and everything. He, 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 uh, I don't know who was there. He just straight stiffed on somebody. I can't even think of their name right now. That was embarrassing. But, like I said, he got sacked four times. Lamar Jackson got sacked four times. He's just, oh. man, they, they got to fix that offensive line, though, because he was getting too much pressure. Lamar Jackson was getting too much pressure. Big plays was not there. They prevented that with that rush. And we know who we got to play next week, Monday Night Football. I wish it was Sunday night football, but so everybody tell me what you think about the game. I have the highlights video as well. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. Thanks for the support. Share my video. Everybody stay safe.